Hello everyone, welcome back to another Starfield stream. Right, apparently the light on my camera has shown up, so let's just see. Nope, it's not working. <laughs> oh well. Oh, bugger. do I have here? Nothing. Don't know why, but mm, any photo I take doesn't work. I'll do that. They're all, well that especially is high level. This one, this one, not so much. Hopefully, we've only got 302 points. I think I am literally 2 XP. No, 3 XP. Sorry. Is out now? Yes, I have. Yeah, I'm not bothered about that one.
film fairly competent at Blind to you. <laughs> I know I've got a suppressor on this, but Jesus. That was a mistake. saw the green laser then of light. I have absolutely no idea where I am. I love it. weapon we've got in the box. I'm going to take it to sell. Oh, excuse me. Holy cups.
set on fire! Seriously, what you had as your legendary weapon or gear? percent more powerful and it's got a bigger clip the only thing I don't like about it is having to recharge having to charge the, the, the uh, shots
Oh shit, I wasn't looking at my thingy. I want to take that one out last. So we can get aboard it. All the engines. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right, it stays in quick snow, doesn't it? I think. This could take a while. I'm 
might go and see if uh, Vulture's Roost. Is it Vulture's Roost? See if that's the really repopulated itself. My sister, beautiful. Yeah. We suffered minimal casualties, thanks to you. The mission boards have been pretty active as of late. It's a good reminder the fleet are still out there. I might do a tour of the key myself later, just to bury the past once and for all. You've come to the right place. Sysdef has access to the latest military technology. Your ship is basically a second home. Let's make it a good one. Oh yeah, I don't need much, that much money now, do I? Because, you know... Uh... being on the bottom Um... 
those things aren't accessible, are they? to do one of the so I don't like how these are So that's them all connected. those at the stop Four hundred and wait, 
Fifty-six even. Puts me up to six hundred and ten altogether, and I think that should be your plenty. That's irritating. If there was a th There's only the engineering bang.
can I? Attached. Because if I put oh, it's because yeah, that's not connected to anything. Yeah, that makes sense. It all adds up. Is there any way I can move these down? I know what I can do. Why do this is long? So I'll put them to 42. With another engine that would be 46. Hmm. Right, let's just save it as that. That's Get rid of now. Let's get rid of that.
and see, do you do the other engines? to do it like this. Actually, I could probably... Uh, we still keep me at 96. Extra, stu extra storage is always nice. We can make it there. Chip parts on me.
prefer the hard target. down by the clip size, but... Get in! And go kill some pirates. Good advanced weapons.
back. I'm not getting the bonus from them anymore. Irritating. Everyone else has good bloody weapons. to get the robot. <laughs> I stand corrected. Bloody stop off your heart from a novice container. I'll be taking that every day of the week. some side questing around Mars. There are no enemies nearby!
the chap you save in the first consolation quest, I don't think you can recruit him. Over not an agent to the Maples. to do something about that. Shitting hell. Oh! Thank you. What do you mean it's an unexplored route? I can just land the bloody Sidonia. like the type who doesn't mind getting their hands dirty. The Trackers Alliance can always use more bounty hunters to round up and kill wanted criminals. If that feels like your speed, talk to me. Or check out our posts on the mission boards. Did someone tell you that, darling? If so, it's complete hogwash. Nah, the Trackers Alliance is more of a loose collection of bounty hunters that all agree not to step on each other's toes. So, as long as you're willing to not work against the other trackers when you take jobs from us, you're golden. Good, here's the short of it. I'm only stationed here because I made a mistake. Killed the wrong bounty, and the right one got away. It's bugged me ever since. 
Now, I heard rumors that this no-good, dirty quarry's been lurking around Mars, but I ain't had the good fortune of him strolling on in here. I think he's smart enough to know better. I got a plan in place to find him, but I gotta prove to my other tracker contact that he's here. That's where you come in. Just gotta plan a sensor. No danger to you. All right, so you're gonna wanna take this here sensor and put it way up at the tippy top of the old Mars launch pad tower where it's nice and unobstructed. You're gonna wanna make sure you've got a boost pack to help get yourself up there, or else it's gonna be a tough climb. Mars gravity's on the low side, but not that low. It'll track down my Mark's chip signal, assuming he shows, and I'll call in my partner to take care of him. Clear out and come back to me as soon as you're done so you don't spook the quarry. Get it? Got it? Good. nearly out of oxygen and then jump, jump, jump up into the air.
Kakashi! The only other thing I'll need after this is chlorine, I think. Yeah. Oh, there's some chlorine. Thanks. Seems a bit overkill for heat leeches. Especially when you struggle to hit them. Mars 
losing systems. Something's cutting power. Nav's offline. Comps are dead. Computers on the fritz. I'm going to try for an emergency landing. Shit! All two defended. Life support is failing rapidly. Hello, Galvin. Get your suits on and strap in. We're in for a rough landing. What about Don't worry about me. Hurry. Hmm. Sandstorm. Speak to the tracker agent. Hang that in, get some money. Ever been to Akila? You place that sensor, and my mark is as good as dead. Good. I'm already getting readings from it. Nothing yet, but when he shows, we'll get him. Here's your pay. Think of it as your cut of the bounty for your assistance. How come the bounties all you pick up don't pay that much? Take your time and ask me if you need anything. I'm here. Cool. That's what we do here. Yo, stay good out there. Oh, she's saying. You, well, well. Look what the Martian winds blew in. Ah, fancy yourself trade authority material, do ya? Well, all we've got right now is some freelance cargo work, but the pay's good. Not sure exactly what's available at the moment, but you'll find jobs posted up on the mission board over in the Broken Spear. <laughs> good luck out there. Hmm. Bye, love. I was wondering if she had anything else to say. You did not find my cargo ship yet, I take it? Oh, no! I hope they did not get into my cargo and ruin anything. As for the crew, I assume dead, yes? That is too bad. Too, too bad. But you found the ship and its cargo, and that is good, at least. I will send someone to retrieve it now that you made it safe. Thank you. Maybe I will have more jobs for you. If you want. Ah, it's you, my friend, though. You really saved my ham sandwich, as they say. And because of that, I can now sell lots more things to you, if you'd like. Take a look. I do like the Sidonia space suit. <laughs> Just because of the, the colour of it. It's basically that kind of stuff, isn't it?
put you on the other side. In order to avoid injury, please report any spills or unsafe conditions on the upper level to the Sedonia Department of Public Works. Where is this woman? I'm not <laughs> really in the mood to talk right now. Maybe you have to do this. It takes guts and character to be a miner out here. Every time I see those drawings of the little creature with the space helmet. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sedonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. The who's a what's it? Sorry, mate. I've got no idea what you're on about. Sounds made up if you ask me. But then again, maybe the other miners have been inventing some jargon I'm not familiar with. Best to ask around. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great. But, yeah, unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. <laughs> wow. It's like you're reading my mind. Maybe this ain't the first time you've done something like this, eh? First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some ore. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. I suppose I'll let anyone lose with a bloody mining laser these days, wouldn't they? Damn it! Okay, I can see you're serious about helping me. Thank you from the right, now, the next part is a little trickier. Our director of mining operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over. The <laughs> Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment, and unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. I don't know who's more confident about this, you or me. Seems you know what you're doing. So, I'll let you get to it then. Off you go. Up to the Deimos office in orbit. Answer some ridiculous questions about ass kissing. Then, we get you that job. Easy peasy. See you when you get back. Have we not been to here yet? It's unusual.
что? Trust me, this is... Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoo in Spot on! <laughs> Are you sure you're not psychic? Surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. That door's never shut. that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, uh. see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. Right. <sighs> Someone ought to remove those dreadful little cartoon pictures on the walls around town. But they clash with the... Uh... Metal wall aesthetic. Oh, have you? You're finally back. I 
feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Oh, so you are, and... Uh, yes, that's exactly what I want. Someone must have briefed you already. Good on them. Well, you know what to do then. Off to it, I suppose. Have a good one. You look hurt. Might want to head on over to Reliance. Do I? No, I'm all good. The Sidonian people are great. They're hard workers and true UC patriots. Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Something important, huh? Well, lay it out for me. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? Heard of you. Of course, how could I not? So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble, unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. Itchy toe. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you, but I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it, then I need that someone to destroy it, discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. Oh, I haven't done this while being a member of the fleet. I don't know if that would open up any unique dialogue. You don't have a choice but to destroy it, which is annoying. So, you're a pirate? Please. We know you're not really with the fleet. Word of advice? Learn the lingo before you attempt anything so stupid again. You've got two choices. We need ship parts to repair our busted craft drive. Hand them over along with your ship, and maybe we'll let you live. Or we dust you and take it anyway. You've got to the count of 20 before I make that choice for you. Death it is! I should have blasted you into pieces when you...
taking everything, you bastards. Somewhere. Somewhere that I didn't find. at your service. If you have a security-related concern, bring it up to me. Be seeing you around. I used to think I was Vanguard material. Welcome to Sedonia Security. I'm Commander Vincent Woodard, Chief of Planetary Security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level. Whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. That's a pretty serious accusation. I assume you have proof of these alleged illicit activities? Hmm. Let me take a look at that. Well, this... Doesn't look good for Hearst. Say that. You did the right thing by coming to me. I'll take it from here. The United Colonies thanks you for your vigilance. Tell you what, I'll do you a favor. Go ahead and finish whatever deal you had with Hearst. I'll wait to take care of him until after that. Just don't let him know we spoke about this. I don't want him running. 
and you don't want to lose whatever leverage you've got with him. I can tell you, Sidonia appreciates it. Yum. I sure hope you've taken care of our little, uh, problem. Did you, uh, take care of my little problem? Hmm. I see how it is. Tell you what. Say you really do have this alleged note, and we're thinking of using it against me. If you're so inclined, I'll take it off your hands instead, and compensate you far more than releasing Mr. Brennan's shipment of goods. Then you and I part ways and never speak of this again. Do we have an understanding? That's what I thought. You don't have anything. You can either put up or shut up now. Either way, my patience is growing thin, and you wouldn't want to risk losing that shipment now, would you? Good. I'll release Mr. Brennan's shipment to you as promised. I'll even defer his taxes as a little bonus. You really helped me out of this bind. Don't take this the wrong way, but I hope I'm never in need of your help like this again. The city of Sidonia is proud to be a pillar of support for the United States. Seek your local Marine recruiter if you wish to sign up for military <laughs> Some oh, sure. my shipment. Do you have it yet? Oh, I'm sure it is. Anyway, can you get to my messages? Oh, they're always such a pain to manage, but with you answering them for me, it'll be easy. Oh, use my password and try to make my replies sound like me, you know, so people think it's me, even though it's not. You're done. Is, um... I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted. He was already on his way out before I could stop him. But... <sighs> It shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. You seem pretty sure of it, so I'll trust you on this one. When you find him, just try to get to the bottom of it as best you can and come back to me. But hopefully this doesn't turn into an HR or security issue. I hate to go to the... stuff. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always deal with Hank later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. A friend offered me a nice cushion. 
This is only my first contract, but I've already hauled more ore than any of the old timers could ever produce. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Suit yourself. Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? You're right. I didn't want to bring it back, so I took it. I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos, screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. Shit. <clears throat> You're right. Fine. You got me. But you say I take you to the goods and we bring it back. You can even say you found it. Just don't turn me in, all right? I... Are, are you kidding me? I'm not an idiot. Sheesh. Look, if you want the stuff, come with me. I'm going. You can follow me or not. Come on, dipshit. Yes, uh, it's not too bad. I kind of feel bad about taking it. Stop getting stuck. You better not be lying about what you said back at the bar. Move. Man, I'm impressed you figured it all out on your own. I thought I was being real careful. It was so easy, right? Boss man forever so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. <laughs> It, it really was uh, the perfect plan. Come on. Ourselves. Anyway, see it just up ahead? 
I actually don't see a ship. Or do I? Is it? All right, that's enough. Now face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. You, uh, you seem pretty sure of that, and I, I am getting kind of a freaky vibe from you. But it's too late now, right? Uh, I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't like it, but you might be onto something. If I come clean, maybe it'll go easy on me, especially if you tell them what happened here. Fine, I'll do it. It's the right thing to do. And hey, at least I'll probably void my contract. Gotta look on the bright side, I guess. I'm not going all the way back there with him. Screw that. on the straight and narrow, and there won't be anything to worry about. It's true. I stole the brand new mining equipment that my boss ordered for us. But now that I've had some sense talked into me, I realize how shitty that is. I know it was a dick move, and I'll serve whatever sentence you've got for me. You can confirm this? Again, I'm real sorry, but I'll do the time and make things right. It's rare that we get a criminal turning himself in like this. And the fact that there's no real damage to speak of is going to help his case. I'm sure those will both be points in his favor. Good work, and thanks. All right, let's get you booked and locked up. You've already done enough to mess things up for yourself. Do, 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 do. Be careful down near the mines. Whee! Yeah, I heard. Booth left me a message saying that Hank stole the goods, but then he had a change of heart and turned himself in. Crazy. I knew Hank was problematic, but I never suspected he'd do something like this. At least he had the good sense to come clean about it before any damage was done. I'll take it from here and get the equipment sorted out. Here's the credits I promised. I'm also throwing in some ore to repay you for what you got us before, and then some. We'll be able to recoup it in no time with these new tools. Thanks for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Oh, we've actually got a, a full Deimos. Yes! Now, where's this woman? Since you helped us out with the equipment and all, <coughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you. <coughs> That's it. Exactly. See, I'd like to go to Reliant Medical for treatment, but my father, Nathan, is an executive with Reliant. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Not to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. <coughs> Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Maybe you could try to reason with my father, or 
maybe scare him into backing off. But you should know. He has powerful and dangerous friends, so you must be careful. If it works, I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. <coughs> what do you think? It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this time of year. He always stays at Hotel Volai. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> It's a peace offering, from me. That whiskey is exceedingly rare. I'm sure it will pique his interest enough to hear what you have to say. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. He may have some or... <coughs> ...know where to get it. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Right, where's the other woman? Name, I know it begins with an L, I want to say Layla or something like that. You. Hey, you know why they call this the Red Planet? Because it's not the moon! <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here all Ah! didn't think we had any new miners on account of the positions being full up. <clears throat> well, that's a little weird, but as long as Trevor's okay with it, I can't say that I mind. Anyway, I'm Layla. When I'm not mining, I'm tinkering with Gnome, our unofficial mascot. I fill that computer brain of his with all sorts of nonsense and announcements. Of course, if you're here to chat, I'm always happy to talk shop. Especially if you're interested in talking about the heart of Mars. Oh, so you're interested in the heart of Mars, are you? Word is, there's a cave out in the Martian waste with a gleaming node of the purest titanium ore you've ever seen. It's worth quite a lot of credits, but some say the heart of Mars is cursed. Hundreds have gone in search of it, never to return. And every one of them met a grisly fate. Maybe, just maybe... You could be the first to succeed, though. You know, if you think you got what it takes. No judgment if you're too scared. I know cursed rocks and all, I don't know for sure if it's really cursed, but... It's probably still dangerous out there, so be careful. I'll give you location of the cave. Good luck. Right. Hey, see you around, I guess. Do that. I don't think there's anything in here. I should have come up here first to get this. But as soon as we gotta go down for both the other ones after it's done, we'll do this and then go to the next one first. Be 
careful down near the mines. Yes, what? Can't say I'm a fan. We've got cold beers and good atmosphere. I am, but you don't look like the type that could afford it. The last person that came through here asking about it was none other than Governor Hurst. Didn't even want to drink it. Said he was buying it to put it on display in his office. Something. Seems like a waste, but eh, whatever. You paid up. <laughs> now you got my attention. This ought to be good. I do have a soft spot for that girl. Why didn't you say so? I know Rivka's story. Will this really help her? You really don't have anything better to do? Nope. Maybe so. Tell you what, I'll do this as a favor for Rivka. She's been through a lot. I'll only charge you what I paid for the whiskey years ago. Maybe that. It's yours. I sure hope you're not pulling my leg about this whole thing. Or else I just let all that money slip away. You better do justice for Rivka. It's hard not to work for a small system. Right. I should be able to just land at the Neon Core. Should. Once we're here, I'm going to go make a, a cup of coffee. Want to challenge your instincts and hope oh, those corporate be skills? Ryujin is hiring the best. Hey, in a moment.
Alright. Get in my face, woman. Uh, when I'm done here, I want to go to the. It's nice to see you today. What are you Welcome using to the hotel, Bolai. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. Nope, no catch. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. No miracle, just some good old-fashioned ingenuity. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? Oh, how nice! His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Ovadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. This reserve, huh? I assume this is from my daughter. Well, she knows how to get my attention. So what then? You're working with her? She thinks this will be enough to smooth things over between us? As if a bottle of my favorite drink is enough to repay me for what she did. You should know. She assaulted me and stole a five million credit starship after years of raising her on my own. This is what I get from her. Hmm. My daughter knows me well. Critical success. Maybe yes. she is serious about this. I suppose I've overreacted. She was young and while foolish, she is still my daughter, and Rivka is all I have left of my wife. I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that. Yes, of course. Understood. I will drop the charges against her immediately. I will call off the bounty hunters. Anything for you to leave me be. Please, just go. Let's go. Oh, excuse me. Uh, is it? No, it's this side. Security's got his eyes on Saburo Okadigba. That guy's trouble for his death. There's loads of bloody side quests. Them before she starts talking to a customer. No ship's better in the settled <sighs> systems. People spend their whole lives dreaming of flying a sleek, sexy spaceship. And I get to make that happen. Tayo brings out the very best in people. I know, right? Are you ready to make your dreams come true? You won't regret your purchase. Right. Oh, we have to register it first. Ow, oh, kitties. Same with you. And the transfer. Shit, now I've got to wait for the bloody. It's complete, Miss Dazel. Welcome to the Tayo family. I can't believe it. Finally. Look, I'm an important person. Just enjoy the With you see, sister. You've made the Talk best to me. decision of your life. So I can take it for a spin now? It'll be at the spaceport before you get there, fully topped up with Helium 3. So, yay! It's so nice to have you here. How can I help you? Satisfaction is guaranteed. 
Wasn't the three by three? Oh, titties. This is going to cost quite a lot to be honest.
Ow. Balls. fit nice down there but I don't think there's anything Thanks. Is there anything with these bloody reactors?
do sell equipment planes. You can't print his own. I mean, that's pretty much. We should be able to just go back to Sidonia. Just <coughs> heard that the charges against me have been dropped. Whatever you said to my father worked. It sounds as if I may finally be safe. Thankfully, it sounds as if that may not be necessary, but it is good to know such a guarantee exists. It is good that this chapter of my life is now closed and I can't. Finally, get the help I need. Thank you. They told me this job would be tough. To have a sense of humor, or else work and everything else is dull. What? Hold on. You're telling me you actually found the Heart of Mars? It's supposed to be harmless prank we send newbies to go find. It's not supposed to actually exist. Yet, here it is. Or at least something resembling the legend. The only way this could happen is if. Damn it! If I gave you the wrong cave coordinates. Well, whatever you found, it's still impressive. You showed me up on this one. Feel free to keep it, since I'd say you earned it. I mean, no money, but it, I think it is quite valuable. How much did he give me, anyway? 50. <laughs> <laughs> That's very kind and sweet of you. I don't think there's much more I can do here. So let's get these done. <clears throat> Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Whoa, whoa, 
only let me shoot? Pretty much what this is. What was that?
Oh, there was a door. Well, I'm here. I do like that because it's furious. But... Killing everyone on board and then the XP for blowing up the ship. Oh yeah, so I've got his credits, haven't I? Where far away have you put me? everything decides they don't want to live on the shelf anymore.
see what this is. I am going to start the They shuffled enemy placement. Oh, 
I could say the same for you. I'm running around. And that's just another way. Yeah. And I could just leave at this point. I mean, a lot of people have said this is annoying. It is worth going right to the end because there's some useful stuff in here. Did I? Build... Is it this one? about mines though. I've never used them in any of the games, this or Fallout or anything.
that post more away. No, of course it's not. through the wall. That's not good. I want to put in there. Actually, there's not really much I want to put. I don't trust the display shelves anymore. Nothing the slightest. one of these with all my snow globes on and then they disappear disappeared. Moving.
It's annoying you can only build six of them. That's really annoying. Completely straight, but it's the best I can do. Pretend TV. Thank you. 
what I'm gonna do for now. Seniors. Right. Oh, Delgado's in for that's what I was going to put on. Come back into my suit because I'm not wearing anything. There we go. Right, what can we put in here? Have I got anything? like a sniper rifle. Can I put mine tear on here or does it have to go in one of the things? I'll be able to get the one from the Vanguard quest line, the minigun, which will go in there. Stop moving! <laughs> Mission number two.
<laughs> Don't disappear. Oh, bollocks. Sleep my lovely bed. That's in the same system. Sweet! <laughs> Still a question mark. Get you up in there. Ah, oh, missed. And again. Oh, there we go.
you go through that way?
Let's open this up. to be here. <gasps> Excuse me. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. a lot Excuse me. Oh, Point one six. I don't know how you don't know where I am.
Neptune is just a random ship that has landed. And someone appears to be picking you all off. Honestly, I don't think there's anyone else left of him.
You don't get to tell anybody. everyone dead.
Oh, this is where you come down from, isn't it? But if you go the other way. Doesn't sound very promising, does it? That's a uh, pocket texture. That be all of them. Can't get to
Is it worth me trying to get all the snow glow? Because I don't think. Unless I find the actual... Launch tower. Uh, it should be round here, roughly. I don't know if I'll be able to get into the NASA base anyway. I'm going to have to go and have a wee and I'm going to make a coffee so I'll be back in a minute. Go 
see if we can find I might as well, seems I've got to go through here. Seems to be many people.
Just give me a second while I uh, hack this lock.
someone just went flying then. Weapons can go. another part to this.
Oh, cock. This is going to, I'm assuming this is going to be turning on the Arubiot. Peace. Go find the cave! Nearly got all my O2 back. Here we go, so now we can actually run.
I think I'm just running around in a complete circle there. Eh? What am I meant to be looking for? Been down that way. Is that the one I've already emptied? Yes. Oh, bollocks. Went down that way. I just left, left. Oh, bollocks. See any passages? Or anything above me? So this takes me back to the entrance, yes? Yes it does. Ah. This is the same place! I'm running this way. Right, let's try and be a bit methodical about this. Oh, you know what? Bollocks to it. Mm. 
Is that one Sidonia? I thought I'd done all the ones here. Oh, excuse me. Going away before going into a population area. You've been busy, I hear. Clearing out bad guys. Here, you deserve this. Isn't that really kind? seen you around here before. Did you just move in? Wait, did I win some sort of contest I forgot I entered? Were you reading my mind? Just like Glorthenia in Book 19. <laughs> I'm just joking. Obviously no one can read minds. Uh, but yeah, those are my favorite books of all time. I'm actually trying to collect all the first editions. I've tracked them down, but I could use some help actually getting them. Don't suppose you'd be willing to help out another super fan? <laughs> I'll pay you back. And then some. You will? Wow, you're the first person to actually agree to do it. <laughs> Thanks. Well, like I said, I'll make it worth it to you. You won't regret it. Center on P1 is a good place to connect with others. I offer a great More opportunity for people who don't wish to have. deal with the trade authority. If I don't have what you're looking for, uh, maybe you'll find something else you like. That's the only one. Uh. give you the same discount I give to locals. Take a look. Ask me if you need anything. I'm here to help. Cool. That's what we do here. C1 
See you around. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to get to a keely yet. I haven't been to a king yet. Fly safe.
missed. All the ones outside. Don't have a lot of ammo for it. There's your gun I uh, got.
きいからなサブニアSell all the stuff. And then go to the Strode Eklund place. Want to challenge your instincts and hone those corporate skills? Ryujin is hiring the best and brightest of today. If it's, it's better not be a waste, you've got the money. Shut up. I get you. Good work. I hope you made him squirm. <laughs> Good. I bet that punk shit his pants when you threatened him. Thanks. Sticks is gonna get a new paint job, a coat of wax, the works. He's gonna look brand new. Oh, and here. For your trouble. You know, Sticks, crime in the city gets worse by the day. Vandals, thieves, gangs. I'm sorry. What don't you understand, Styx? Crime happens because the people in charge let it happen. I'm sorry. I've got more than you can handle. No, I doubt it. Sticks about the war. I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts down. So many little quests.
control station. And... We'll just do two of them. You have one because I'm top, don't you?
docker, fuel tank. Oh! Oh, that would probably be why. Working on adding a fuel tank. That's the ones I was on about. I can't remember.
Wolken. Twenty nine. Make sure I spell this right. Find a mission board and we'll try this out as a hey there, dog. Let's hope that's off. Our beds are comfortable and affordable. I do. I'm 
do these two, then I'm going to call it a night, I think. Probably not going to have the fuel range. But not quite. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to get there anyway. <laughs> right, you see listening post is the one that's on the ground. Let's see it's top up in the Sure, this is just gone. Uh, where am I going? <gasps> oh, bloody hell, I've got any cops there. I have loads of surveys I can sell. The only thing I can use it yet. I will use it in the last room.
Sen.
we're capable in combat. I knew you'd get bored without me. As I say, I'm going to call it a night there. So, if you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it and all oh, want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you all in the next one. So, thank you everyone for watching, and goodbye.